everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel with another episode of an LP you thought was gone. Yes, we are back with our Get to Work LP. I have missed this family and missed this LP. Um, it got kind of tedious with the careers and everything, um, especially the doctor career and the scientist career. We kind of started grinding them, and that's never fun. Grinding stuff is never, ever fun. Fun. Yeah, but we're back. We're gonna make it super exciting. Uh, I hope and um, Hopefully finish this up and have like a the generation who come in and all of that fun fun stuff So we're back to work with mr. Matthew Mr. Matthew has to perform surgery on three patients in order to get promoted uh, to the next level he ages into a adult in 10 days Um I'm pretty sure everyone except everyone's the same age except Glenn. Glenn is young because he was pregnant twice, uh, so you know that that keeps the the stuff at bay. So um, we are in this new um, hospital. It's not the uh, get to work hospital, which is fine. Uh, we're in a pretty good mood, so let's go ahead and find out. Here's Kurt. Pretty sure you are an alien of some kind. Just saying. There's this cutie pie. His name is Addison Wilker Wilkerson. Um, let's hit play. Okay, cool. Uh, we also have Miss uh, Catherine Richards here. I feel like uh, adults, we can do more tests and whatnot on them. Uh, are there people upstairs waiting for our assistance? There are. There are two kids, Clarissa Maynard and Max Villarreal. Very good, very good. And no one over here. There's the nursery. Um, okay, so let's deal with Miss um, Miss Catherine. Let's come over here, discuss her general health, and uh, check her ears. Sorry, check her eyes, not her ears yet. Let's get ourselves coming over here. Yes, yes, yes. So we're back at it. We've been... Um, we're familiar with the doctor career from the, uh, with Ryan and the I'm a Lover Challenge, if you guys watch that. Oh, her eyes are just no good. No good. More, more, more. Let's scan her body. Let's swab for a sample. Let's take her temperature. Good job, Matthew. Good job. Okay. So we want to analyze, and let's just check her ears while we're here. Good, good, good. Okay. We have a weak diagnosis going on right now, uh, but let's discuss her general health one last time. And we want to analyze the sample and give her a treadmill test. Let's go give her a treadmill test and see what's good. Aline Griffin. Okay, so we got to take them in here. I really like uh, the setup of this, um, having the... It's separated, so you can do all exams in here. So we're taking her over to do a treadmill test. Pretty sure we're coming into this room. Sick. And then we'll also do a x-ray scan. And hopefully we do that in the same room together. And if I don't get anything, I will probably do it again. But I want to make sure that... Oh, she fell. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Jesus, honey. I'm so sorry. Very good. Results uh, are inconclusive. Run test again or a different test. Okay. Let's do an x-ray one while we're at it. And then we'll put her back in bed for a rest. And um, and then we'll analyze her sample and maybe that'll do something. I don't know. But we have tons of time. Okay, so let's put her back in her bed. Uh, we'll analyze her sample while we're doing that. And then um, oh, put her put her in a bed. There you go. Um, who is up here that we want to make sure we give them? Uh, you know what? I really don't care. I wish they would just like be put in a bed themselves. Like, why do I have to? Con why do I have to worry myself about um, putting them in a bed? Like, what? Like what? Okay, so we're analyzing her sample right now, seeing if we're getting anything from it. Uh, we have compelling. It's either burning belly or gas and giggles. I'm not sure. So maybe our um, analysis will provide something. Certainly indicate um, the thing that we can do. So we, oh god. Okay, let's come and, uh, oh, 
Wrong, that's MC Commander. Um, let's discuss her general health. Oh, we need to log the sample results. Where's a computer? Is there one nearby? Oh, there's one right here. We'll come and log our sample analysis. We're just gonna come and ask her a couple more questions. Be like, okay, do you got this? Do you do this? Do you have this in your family? Are you this? Are you that? This is our office. Patient left. Good. Just leave. I don't have time. I'm a busy, busy sim. Okay, so we're probably gonna do another treadmill test. Because that'll probably tell us what we need to do. Is there something I can check? Add new studies to the thing. I don't know what that even does. But we're gonna do another treadmill test. Hopefully this um, tells us what we need. Nurse and orderly. You guys are obviously not doing your work. Uh, clearly show the presence of a treatable ailment. If diagnosis is rendered, uh, run a few more tasks, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so she's being put back in her bed. Um, the nurse is... Oh, guaranteed diagnosis of burning a belly. There we go. We did it, guys. We did it. We did it. Burning belly. That sounds painful as anything. Very good. So let's go ahead and uh, treat her for this ailment. Refer to surgical treatment. Excellent. So we have to um, actually give her an operation, which is what we need for uh, our promotion. We need to do three surgeries. So look at all these poor little kids. She's wearing a princess tiara crown. Okay. okay so performing our surgery doing it up. I pro I think this is our first surgery, guys. I'm I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I honestly can't remember because this LP has just been going on for so long. It was so long. Uh, it was actually Halloween the last time we did this LP because every we were in Halloween outfits. We had Halloween outfits. Mallory's uh, clothing store was in Halloween decorum. Um, so <laughs> it's been months, guys. It's been like six months. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's get some of the other side. Sorry, I'm just gonna pause while yeah, while we scoot around. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Oh my gosh. Can I go higher, higher, higher? Shooting glue. Oh my. Well, he's at least he's aiming good. He's aiming good. We just took out a plumbing, a plumbing thing. Surgical operation was a success. Awesome. Goodbye. It was really nice meeting you. Okay, so, oh, we have an alien. And there's children. I just feel bad. I don't think we can perform surgery on children. That's why I'm kind of like, eh. So let's go ahead and grab the alien. Let's admit her to a, t a thing and let's admit him to... Um, A bed. Are we, are we coming? Come, let's put you in a bed. And let's um, put him to a bed. I think, yeah, he can go in there. Okay, cool. Uh, but Matthew's super, super hungry and um, he needs to pee and stuff. So let's take him upstairs. He deserves a break, like, really, really quickly. That's, like, he honestly does. He just performed surgery. He, um... He, he can afford a break. He'll have a sandwich, like something super quick. Um, and then we'll be going home. And we got silver. We did one surgery today. I think we did really, really well. Um, but we're not going to perform well if we're hungry and uh, uncomfortable. And I kind of actually want him to work out a little bit just because he's, he's kind of tubby. And he lives with Glenn, who is a freaking horse. Like, he is humongous. He's like a rhinoceros, like, in a good way. Rhinoceroses are muscle, like, all muscle and everything. So he's feeling kind of insecure. I mean, Gene, Gene loves him no matter what, right? But he, he just wants to look, he wants to look good for her. So he's going to finish the sandwich up a little bit more. And then he's going to come work out for a little bit. And just, you know, end his day with some... Uh, oh, we don't have electronic music. What? Okay, we'll just do pop music. That's fine. Uh, end our day with a good old stress-relieving workout. You know, sometimes you need that. So he's going to run. He's looking good. Look at him. Do it, man. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. 
and then his day will be over, and that's it. He got level two, and that's good. And done. We bring home thirteen hundred and fifty simoleons, and we get a vacation day. So worth it. So good. So good. So honestly, we doing fine, guys. We doing fine. Um, so we will be working on finishing his career first. He want we want to get him to level ten. Uh, and on his off days, uh, which he does have quite a few off days, um, I want to spend time with Mallory and her retail store. It is really, really small, um, but we do have a lot of simoleons that I put over to, um, to the store from our home. Uh, and I went and I changed the outfits. I gave them all spring outfits because they were all Halloween. And I have a vision. I have a vision for how I want her store to be and look. Um, in the future so yeah it's six o'clock uh we're not gonna open the store today but i went ahead and i gave everyone some uh some new outfits so i'll go ahead and show you guys so this is um mallory's outfit super spring like she is just freaking gorgeous on so many levels matthew's like being like an uber creep behind her but you know true um this is glenn's outfit he's super springtime sunshine and he's just a cutie patootie oh my god i love him um and jean is over here she is in uh super casual super hot pink because you know she looks good in that and she stopped wearing her disguises because because you know who cares aliens are rampant everywhere it's just like they don't need to wear their they don't do the, bleh, bleh, bleh. They do not need to wear their disguises anymore. Uh, this is Zora's outfit. She's just so freaking cute. Her skirt kind of matches her skin tone, but whatever. Sue me. <laughs> and then, um, uh, what's his name? Zenon. I almost called him Zach. Uh, I did not d do anything to him because I think he's a cutie pie. and He, he doesn't need anything. Um, so he, Zenon, is our... Oh, he needs to do his homework. Does she need to do her homework? Yes. Okay, they both need to do their homework. Uh, Zenon is our little computer geek, and I want him to be our, like, our live stream gamer and all of that um, tech guru programmer. He's going to do all of that good stuff. Um, the other thing that I want to get these guys all in is a group. They need to join their clubs, and they need to get in on that. Oh, um, what is she doing? Gossiping with him. Uh, these two also need to get married, like, ASAP. Aren't we, are we engaged? Aren't we engaged? I swear he proposed to her. No! Oh. oh my god, I need to, we need to propose, like, soon time. Soon time we need to propose. Okay, can we uh, tell her a knock-knock joke? Can we do an impression? I want you to be funny. Uh, Jean also needs to uh, do her gardening, and Matthew needs to go up in the rocket ship a couple times. Uh, we have all of these, uh, and I want to tend the garden and to get that going. We just want to keep these. I'm not too keen on uh, creating a giant garden because I'm doing that in another LP. Uh, shameless plug, uh, perfect sim challenge. <laughs> so, uh, But we got ourselves our alien plants, and I just want to make sure that um, nothing dies on us so Jean's gonna be doing that and uh, she works so many days but she has 13 vacation days uh, but I kind of want to save those uh, for when she's married when she gets married and when she maybe gets pregnant I don't know um, but if you remember uh, the sad sad story of Mallory and Glenn Mallory who is just so freaking gorgeous and fabulous and oh my god I freaking love her um, that Mallory is unable to bear children of her own. Um, and so, like, this is honestly their... This is her family. This is her life. Uh, she has children because of Glenn, because Glenn was abducted by aliens twice. And honestly, I think it's like a turn of fate that he got abducted twice and that you are already married, sweetheart. Um, that he got abducted twice and had two children, a, bro a boy and a girl, for Mallory. And that like it was just kind of meant to be you know so their family life is complete and honestly i've kind of considered moving jean and matthew out so that they can have their own family and kind of playing between the two 
Let me know what you guys think about that because it's starting to get really, really crowded in this house, but at the same time, I really don't want to be splitting up these families yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think when they're a bit more settled. Is he dead? He looks like he's he's ruminating. No, he's, he's fine. We can't even view them. Why are we embarrassed? Who walked in on us? Zenin. Oh my god, I can't believe you walked in on your uncle. What are you doing? Go hide. Go hide. It's terrible. <laughs> um, Matthew needs fun too, so Matthew's gonna come. Oh my god, that's our TV! Can I, um... No, that won't do. <laughs> who's our, uh, who's our woodcarver? I can't remember. Let's get that there <laughs> really quick. That is not our TV. I'm sorry, I was saying. I think I need that still. <laughs> we have money now. We do not have to be stingy at all. Let's get ourselves this. There we go. There we go. That's really nice. No, I like the black. I like the black. There's also this outdoor TV and this giant thing. Oh my god. Oh, oh this is just a wall hanging one. That's fine. I like the one um, here. Uh, what I kind of want is uh, some more seating because that's not enough seating for our whole family. No way, Jose. Uh, hmm. Where is this couch? That doesn't match at all. Do I need to do chairs? Do I need to do chairs? How does this? How does what? I oh my god! Which chair is that? I don't even know. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? No, this is a movie chair. Oh, it's an outside movie chair. It's this one. Haha, -ha, I found it. There we go, okay. So let's just pop this here and pop this one here. Okay, and then I want a coffee table because we don't have one and it just it just looks, everything looks nakey. So let's do, uh, let's do this one and make it gray. And make this one gray too. Can I make it gray? Gray. I want, I want gray. No? N no? Okay. Let's just leave it like that. Well, that's, that's gray. And then that's white. Okay, cool. True. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, those aren't even. Oh. Oh, I messed up. There we go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on a second. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so much better. Yes, you're gonna come. Why don't you watch a movie with people? Oh my god, that'd be great. Who's? Let's watch um, Moonlight Massacre three with Jean. Oh no, wait. I think she's Biddy. Biddy, Biddy. I think she's Biddy. Um, let's just watch it with everyone. Let's. All, oh, she can't watch. Oh, sorry. You can't watch it though, no, Zora. Zora, you're not invited. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Why don't you eat those leftover scrambled eggs and then, um, yeah, do that. Okay, we're coming to watch Watch the movie. Everyone's gonna come sit down. Awesome. I know we're embarrassed. You'll be non embarrassed soon. See Zora's coming. Who's calling us? I got the scoop that some crazy party is happening at the bluffs. No, we're not going to the bluffs. No, no, no. This we're watching a movie. Can't you see we're doing something here? We're watching a movie together. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Yes. Oh, that juice is bad. Honey, don't drink it. Don't drink that juice. That is bad juice. That is bad juice. That is spoiled bad juice. Throw it out. Did y'all just get... They all just got reset somehow. I think for me dragging the juice over. Whoopsie daisies. There we go. Matthew's like sitting in between them being such a blocker. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> These sims kill me, man. They kill me. What does Zenin want? He wants to lock his door. He doesn't want anyone coming into his room. No, I understand. I, oops, I understand you want to lock your door. Everyone but Zenin. There you go, buddy. 
Uh, so I think Jean's just still outside. She's still tending her garden. And I want her to harvest all. This is just so time consuming. We're gonna hire a gardening service uh, just to, you know, deal. Um, but they're watching their horror movie and loving it. Uh, and it is 9.42. Um, so I'm gonna get Zora ready for bed because Zora, you know, she's a kid. She's just a child and she has you know, school in the morning, so we gotta get her going. Um, maybe do some of her, uh... Here, let's have her take a thoughtful shower instead. And, uh, use the toilet. And then she can draw a shape while inspired, and that will help. He's bored and going to bed. Okay. Uh, Glenn is, oh, Glenn needs to eat something, so let him go eat. We're feeling energized. Oh, uh, poop. Oh, good, we're inspired. Okay, yes, okay. I want you to draw something really quick and then go to bed, please. Mally is already asleep. She's like, honey, I'm done. Honey, I'm done. Um. Matthew's eating and then he'll go to bed and Jean is actually coming to bed too. So I'm going to go ahead and skip until morning time and we're going to also be going to Mallory's store. So I will see you guys in the morning. Actually, this part's kind of long, so I'm going to end it. <laughs> but I'm going to post to the second part like right away. We're going to record it right now. I'm just going to split it in two, so no big deal. I'll, put, I'll post these back to back. No big deal. Uh, so if you guys are want to see more of this series and have missed this series, let me know in the comment section down below and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe for more. I love you guys so very much. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.